Welcome to Brantford. What the fuck, Florida? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of, like, just weird shit. What the fuck, Great Britain, too. Yeah. Um, not I know s- about Brexit. See, there's something I can talk about. There we go. Yeah, but holy shit, not a, not a whole lot happening in the furry uh, world right now, but stop it. I'm taking your silly putty away. No! It, 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 it's, it's a fixation. It's not appropriate. For right now. Don't even know I have it. And now you're using it. Yeah. You difference can... is she's in the front of the mic, and I'm trying to get it into a nice ball shape so I can put it on the table. You hypocritical fuck. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. But not a lot happened in the furry realm, but current events. Yeah. No, the world just kind of went to shit this month, didn't it? Yeah. It. You know what they say when you die? Like, your bowels just. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. Oh, what, the world uh, is dying. The world, the world has already dead. It yes. has dead. It's been it, dead inside for years. It has dead. <laughs> it ha- well, it, ha- it has the dead. Let's ginger. Got a bad case ginger. of the dead. Stop, stop playing with your jer- jer- Joker toy. But yeah, no, Orlando is uh, what we're talking about first because uh, yeah. that is just such a tragedy. Why did you do that? Because I don't know anything about the... Silly all up in my coaster. <laughs> Put that down. See, that, now you are being hypocritical. Yes, now I am being hypocritical because I have nothing to say about the Florida thing. You can have something, you just give it. You can express how sorrow. it made you feel. Yeah, you yes. can express sorrow and grievance. To... No, no, that's that's giving away the answers. <laughs> that's giving away the answers. Anyway, go on. Ginger. Sorry. Yeah, uh... As as part as the furry part of uh, the Orlando shooting uh, goes, there was a claim that a furry was killed in uh, the the attack in the Pulse nightclub. Yes, uh, which turned out to be completely false. Uh, a to the point where a fake profile was created, I believe, on Fur Affinity. Uh, could have been a Facebook one. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. I know it was on Fur Affinity. Oh, for okay. Sure. So yeah, I there saw you go. That. Yeah, a fake profile was created. To, uh, say, like, to show a, a piss poor attempt at, at like, a furry being at the at Pulse Club, nightclub when uh, the shooter went in. The thing is, though, is, and as I said this, furry, furry in general has this really bad habit of injecting itself into places where it doesn't belong. Yeah. Um... When the France attacks happened, there was a furry who was involved and was killed, and that is very sad and unfortunate yes. for the community, their family, etc. But that doesn't mean that every tragedy has to have a furry in it. Yeah, and and even for it to like affect our community, it, it doesn't have to be a furry there. Yeah. A tragedy can be a tragedy and still be a terrible thing, and we can still care about it. Exactly. I mean, the thing about the pole shooting is it already affects most, well, not most, Actually, yeah, most of us. Um, most of us, because it had to do specifically with the LGBT community, which the furry fandom is oversaturated with people who consider themselves LGBT. Yeah. There was a study, there was a couple different studies done, and I think it, they worked it down to being approximately 66%. Yeah, so two thirds. Yeah. So, yeah. Basically, yeah. Like, look, so look, look, look at two-thirds of our show. Two-thirds of our show. Look at look at our show. Isaac and I both identify as LGBT, and Foxen does not. No. So that that statistic works out perfectly for us. But, but he still completely and totally respects the community. Yes, Absolutely. I, yes, I do. And I'm not saying that you don't. Except the unrespectable ones. <laughs> uh, okay, what are you doing now? He's grabbing the silly putty again. He's and, gonna put uh, a battery in it. Or through it. <laughs> Just, just ignore what I'm doing. You, well, it's kind of hard when you take things away from us to use them yourself during a, a live recording. <laughs> Which is kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? Again, a live recording. The bit, the bit is, is that she's sitting in front of the mic with it, and it makes small poppy sounds, and she's six inches away, whereas I'm like in you know, a nice foot, and I'm not sitting there squeezing it. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> that doesn't make it right. Because now you're just taunting her. No, if I was taunting her, I'd be doing entirely different things. Anyway. Hold on. Move on. Does it feel like he's taunting you? I kind of wish he wouldn't keep touching it if I'm not allowed to have it, considering I bought it for myself for my anxiety. And as something, there it is. As something to play with and fidget with. 
to get my mind off of things. So I'll take the silly putty, and we'll be. Oh, oh fine. It's over there. <laughs> At any rate. Okay. So so there was that. There was the two-year-old who got eaten by alligator. Actually, I didn't hear about that. You didn't? No. What the hell? You didn't? I'm sure I talked to you about this. No, this did not come up the last time we were talking. Yeah, that was at Disney Disney World. Did, nope, did not did not come up. Okay, yeah, there was a family who was at Disney World Resorts, and they were, they were playing by this water and waiting in this water. This, there was no swimming signs, but there was a whole bunch of people in the water, and out of nowhere, an alligator just... Oh my god. Grab this kid. It's not is that on tape? Oh my god. I don't know if it's on tape or not, but this alligator came up, grabbed the kid, took it away. They didn't find it for two days. They've killed at least five alligators looking for this alligator. Oh my god. Um I thought that you said they found it. Or they They did find it eventually. But, but you, said, you said they have killed at least five in past tense, or not past tense, but present tense, so that they were currently still killing alligators. Yeah, but they Well they might be, you never yeah, know. They killed at least five alligators looking for it. Um but yeah, how awful must that be going for a family vacation to a place like Disney and coming back without your child? Woo! Child, but no, I'm kidding. What? Wow. Because dude. an alligator took it. I'm I'm to, I was gonna say, I'm it's, not, to it's not like dark you, humor. It's not like you left your kid at Disney World. It's like, no, it's okay. They'll have fun. No, it was chomped up by a gator. Yeah, but it's your own fault for not obeying the signs. Well, and, yeah, know, okay. Yeah. Just because other people are doing it does not make it right either. So yeah, a bunch of people were doing it. They all should have known they wanted to, and it could have been anyone. Someone who is specifically taking care of a child should be putting more thought and care into that. Yes. So, it is their own fault. I mean... Yeah, but that doesn't make it any less of a tragedy. I guess. Like, shit. I just... I, I have... I, 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 very I know I can't, I can't even say what if it was your child, because I know you guys are never going to have kids. Yeah. So... And that's the thing. It's like, I'm not going to have kids. That's a personal choice. But I can still feel, like, sorry for those people who lost their child in a freak accident. Yeah. Because that's really, that's what this is. It, I think, oh, there was one alligator incident in, like, the 70s or 80s. But that didn't, wasn't a fatality. This is the first alligator fatality at Disney. Oh, wow. <laughs> still, I don't know. I guess I have problem feeling sympathy for people who disobey rules and bad things happen. Because it was their own stupid decision to do something like that. It's one thing to say, like, there's, there's hard to feel sympathy for them, uh, display rules, bad things happen. But when somebody actually died, you can feel bad for them. Mm. I would hope you could feel some sadness towards this family. See, I know nothing about them and nothing about the incident. So, my... And maybe that makes me heartless or, or lack of lack of empathy. But I feel empathy for a lot of people, for a lot of things. But that particular instance, I place them at blame. It is unfortunate that something that somebody died, but it is still their own fault. All I have to say is this... Let us know in the comments how you feel. Yeah, like this harkens back a lot to the gorilla incident that yeah. happened not not even that long ago. Actually, I think that was this month, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. If not, like, late last month. But, yeah. But you had the... For, what, what, what was the gorilla's name? Uh, Hirobi? Or, or, yeah, something like that. Something, how, how, there's a J in there. No, I don't think so. No? Shit. Anyway, but... An endangered species yeah. got killed because somebody couldn't watch their kid. Yeah. And, and like that one's even worse than the gator one for me. Because an animal got killed and not a two-year-old? <laughs> well, no, because there was a big fucking barrier and your yeah. kid got it, like exactly. fell into it. Like, are you yeah. kidding me? Watch your damn kids. Yeah, yeah like, that, that sort of... You can... I blame the parent on that one because yeah, I know, I do too. like clearly, this exhibit was made for a reason, and well, you, well like, yeah, like they, like exhibits it, are made to keep the animals in and people out. If you're going out of your way to try to get in, or you fall in such, and such yeah, a, it was a kid that did it. It's not, it wasn't like a rational thinking human being, right? Yeah. Okay, that sounded wrong, but no, I mean the kid was young enough to be an irrational thinker. Yeah. But, like, I, I meant more the more human being thing. <laughs> oh, well, 
you keep... But yeah, anyway. it's not like it's an adult or even a teenager, because yeah. teenagers can do some stupid ass shit. Yeah, that's usually when they do the stupid ass shit. But yeah. anyway. But yeah, if your kid is like trying to like, I think he even said, I want to be in there with the gorilla, and then he just did... Yeah. And I'm sorry, you don't kick your kid out on an outing like that if you're not going to watch them carefully. No kidding, especially around animals. Like, you don't know. Like, you get too close to the chimp cage, they could reach through the cage and grab something off of you. Well, that's the thing, is like, most zoos nowadays don't even have quote-unquote cages. That's true. They that's have, right. like, plexiglass yeah. and shit like that. Like, they, like, have you ever tried to take a photo... At, in an exhibit at a modern day zoo? No. It's so difficult because the glass gets in the way and it's smudgy and foggy because you have like kids like pressing up against it. And, yeah. Like it's terrible for photographs, but I understand why they have to have it because stupid fucking kids trying to get into the exhibits. Yeah. It may not have to do with animals actually. I was at, I think I was waiting in, a, in my the doctor's office and there was a TV like a judge show with the same kind of idea where someone was trying to open up or ha had a suit against this laundromat because their kid crawled into one of the machines and the machine activated and broke the kid's arm. And even a judge ruled in favor of... Um, the laundromat? Yeah, because it's not their job. It is the parent's job to watch their child. Actually, that parent's lucky that it just broke the kid's arm and didn't, like, tumble dry them to death. Yeah, really, that can't Or happen. break their necks. Yeah. There are stories all over the place of people getting accidentally locked into industrial dryers or whatever. And, yeah, really. And they get, like, roasted. Oh, yeah. It gets really hot in those they get They get roasted and they get crumpled because of the force of just falling. Yeah, really. Like yeah, because you're falling and then lifting and then falling and then lifting. Like if if you're gonna have any ch a chance surviving inside a dryer, you're gonna want to like press yourself against those sides. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is gonna burn you. Yeah. Not to mention the air is gonna be so hot it you suffocate too. Yeah. Like but that's this is just a machine of death. <laughs> but that it's that comes to the same kind of thing with my opinion on the alligator thing is that it is mm -hmm. your responsibility to obey rules and keep track of your child. You know, so, it, it kind of makes me wonder if dryers weren't, like, medieval tortured uh, devices first. <laughs> and then it's like, yep, he's dead. Blood everywhere. But his clothes are so creaseless. <laughs> <laughs> Not Damn, a wrinkle so in sight. soft. <laughs> oh, I just want to take it right off of him because it's so cozy. Oh, so nice and warm, too. <laughs> you know, you may be onto something here. <laughs> <laughs> we should make this a service. Hey. People will pay us. We've been talking for 12 minutes about dead or injured children, so... And we haven't even gotten to Brexit yeah. yet. Um, there was another alligator where uh, was chomping on the corpse of a two-day-old body. Was it the kid? Because it took no, no, two no. days to find him. No, this is somebody else. This is an adult. And there was a kidnapping in, like, a dollar store. A failed kidnapping, but in broad daylight in a dollar store. Wow. Someone just tried to grab, like, a 12-year-old kid and book it. This was all in Florida! Wow. That's why I opened this off with, what the fuck, Florida? There's, like, six or seven different headline news stories, all from Florida. Well, there's, uh... All within, like, two weeks. Well, there's, uh, what, the one Twitter account is uh, Florida Man, right? Okay. And all it is is a collection of uh, news articles that start with Florida Man. Ah! Florida Man charged with indecent uh, exposure. Yeah. Well, the thing, like, I don't know what the hell's wrong with Florida. Maybe it's something in their water, but things are yeah, fucked up. Maybe it's to do with the fact that uh, while playing various board games, I try to <laughs> completely destroy Florida using coal power. They're retaliating. <laughs> okay, sure. Lorraine That's right, it's all story. your fault. Yes. <laughs> During a board game. At any rate. Um, Ouija's technically a board game. Oh, what? Ouija. Oh, a Ouija board. Yeah. What, I think, what was the thing where it's like, um, you have to be 18 to be able to, uh, to vote, 21, this is all in base in the States, 21 to have a drink, but summoning the devil is eight and up. <laughs> Because <laughs> there's a thing on Ouija boards where it's like for ages eight and up. I love that. That's great. <laughs> something the devil. But something is... the devil is eight and up. <laughs> and then you also get the one where it's like the granny looking at the box of Lego that says from nine to ninety nine. Oh. <laughs> on our hundredth birthday. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
I can't <laughs> play with Legos anymore. And good luck getting the small ones apart, Grandma. <laughs> they actually have a tool for that. Yeah, I, had, I used to have one of those cool like, little wrench things. I've never, I've never seen that. They have a little tool that separates the little ones for you. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so we covered Florida. Yep. Holy shit, what the fuck, Florida. Uh, Brexit. Yep. Let's launch into that whole mess. Yeah. I love how you pointed at me for that. Like, I'm our political expert. <laughs> well, no, you said whole mess and pointed at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brexit's my fault. I was the three votes. <laughs> no, you're just the whole mess. No. I, I've i been trying to explain this to a couple of my friends, at least while it was still kind of a thing, as... Oh, how, how did I put it? It is the Quebec to Canada was Brexit, where they always wanted to separate, but didn't quite understand the connotations of separating. Yeah. And this is Britain separating from the European Union. And it's because they don't like the European Union for reasons X, Y, and Z. I'm not British. I don't care to remember all the little bits. One of them is the money. There's the money. There's um, the regulations. 250 million pounds a, what, a week day? I a can't week. Remember. A week, yeah. A week. That they give do, to the give, European quote unquote Union. giveaway. However, they get a lot of that back in uh, re, like rebates, and um, there's also the financial things that they get back from people from the European Union. But anyway, it was a lot of regulations that they didn't, didn't want to deal with trade, commerce, and racism. Yes, there was a lot of racism why British want or why Britain wanted to leave because oh, yeah. they just didn't like immigrants. Yeah, you, that became hugely apparent after the vote. Yeah, and it passed by less than two percent. I think it was. It was like I, I know it was less than five percent. It was. It was it like was forty-nine between, to fifty-one percent. Yeah, it was like, like that two percent. That like a, a vote that close that could start like a civil war. Yeah, and the biggest thing with it is that Which is another people who moron. voted to leave after that was announced, they were like. Oh shit! Yeah, I voted leave because you know I'm, I'm pa- they're patriotic or whatever. But I, they didn't expect it to actually happen. Yeah, that and uh, what was it on John Oliver? The two most popular uh, searches after the vote were included. Uh, what what is, is the EU? Yeah, yeah. So th- like the be all end of comes of it. That happened. The loony went down. So us in Canada felt Britain leaving. Oh, the world's going to feel it. Yeah. Um, the, the pound went down, like, hugely. It went yeah. down by 11% the very first day. And I think it was Scotland and Ireland, or Scotland and another one, are trying to Northern get... Northern Ireland. Yes. Scotland and Northern Ireland are trying to get back into the EU without Britain. Because they do not want to be separated. And they, then you wait. have Trump, like, flying to Scotland and being like... I was going to say, no, yeah, Scotland voted to stay. Yeah. Scotland voted like, to stay. And, and that passed that for them. So yeah. they are... They never left the EU. Yeah, but, but then Trump flies there and he's like, Hey, good job on leaving! And it's like, what the fuck, you fucktard? Yeah. So... Trump, say, Trump saying something stupid is just like, oh, the sun is up. Yeah, and that's why I compare it to Quebec, is because if Quebec ever separated from Canada, it'd be the same kind of thing. It, it really would completely would be the same destroy thing. Quebec. Yeah, no, they don't Quebec. even have their own money. Yeah, exactly. So they'd have to continue. I'd have to mint their own form of currency, or pay to use, or pay Canadians. to use Canadian, Canadian currency. Yeah, like it would destroy them economically. They don't have enough to to send out, and. With Britain and the EU, it's not quite as, you know, severe, because it's a country compared to a province. But the amount that they are losing does not make up for the amount that they, quote-unquote, think they gain. Yeah, really. Like, what was it? Uh, someone, the person who put down that statistic of, like, 330 million pounds a week, they asked him, like, so, now that we've um, succeeded, or however you want to pronounce, say that, um, will that, that mo- we're out. will that money go right back to, like will we be able to use that money for our own infrastructure and he's like i never said that yeah um yeah well, there's no guarantee that yeah. that, uh, that uh, the money will go to uh the things that we need it's like oh then what the fuck was the point of this yeah exactly um john oliver had a thing where it's like um they're talking about oh you wouldn't expect a pillow to have regulations and, but there's like 15 of them and then it like quotes a whole bunch of them. But one of them is like a regulation on pillow-shaped cereal. And 
Like, all sorts of random things that just happen to have pillow in the word. <laughs> or it, with the word pillow in the regulation, even if it has absolutely nothing to do with actual pillows. It, it shows and the... It's, ma- it's just, sorry, go Sorry, ahead. no, no, go ahead. I was going to say, it shows the major disconnect between statistics, quote-unquote, like what people say and what they actually mean. Yeah. It also shows that how... How completely people are able, how completely people are able to sway other people's minds with quote unquote facts. Like nine out of ten dentists. Yeah, nine out of ten ten dentists recommend Colgate. The question is, who are the ten dentists? Are they the only ten dentists they asked? They asked 200 dentists and picked ten they liked. And one they didn't like just because. (laughs) Like. Yeah, it's like, wow. Well, out of 200, or only 42 would actually recommend Colgate, but it's like, well, that's kind of, that kind of sucks. Well, we'll take uh, nine of the 42 and one of the rest. <laughs> well, that's the other bit with, like, you'll see it even in the news all the time, where it's like, recent study shows. If you actually go and look at that study, normally the findings are, like, inconclusive or would require to be redone. Because, um... Well, that, and a lot of the time, those studies are performed by kids as uh, going through school. That it, It's yeah. part of their final thesis. The thing is, is those types of headlines, they like those headlines because it's like clickbait. Oh, yeah, totally. You get more traffic, even if it does at the end saying, findings are inconclusive, or... So, this kind of thing has resulted in a country separating from a union, and now that union potentially using that country as an example for not leaving. Like, just putting them on the spot, refusing to allow them back in, and making an example of them. That's very true. Yeah. Not to mention the and thing is... And they only is, have themselves to blame. The problem is, is like, there's even if they did save those 300, 330 million pounds or whatever it was, if they want to trade with anyone, that means they're going to have to pay extra taxes mm-hmm. and extra fees. Mm-hmm. And they're... Because they're still going to want to trade, and they're still going to want to have open borders so that their citizens can work in other countries, and they're still going to want this and this and this and that, and they're end up going to end up going to pay end up paying more in the long run because they're not part of the union anymore. And yep. the other bit with they don't get any of those benefits. To go back to the pillow pillowcase thing that they used in as an example, the complaint was that they have to build or do all these things by regulations. Yeah. But now that thing can no longer be an import if you do want to do or an export if you do want to do it your way, because now it doesn't fall by their guidelines. So you lose massive manufacturing exports by not playing by their rules. Yep. Like complete and total destruction of Britain <laughs> on an economic level. And on a human level. Like you if you if you look, you'll see so many uh, accounts and videos of people just out and out blatant racism yes it's terrible fights breaking out in bars just because someone's skin color is different it's just like oh you're obviously not not white which means you're not a natural born uh british you're yeah you're not true you're not true british oh no no did you hear oh who was it there was a guy who was like a um he was a I should call my grandparents on this because they actually were from Britain. I wonder what their opinion would be. But no, there was a guy, and he was in like the government, like he was a minister or something for Britain. Okay. And someone called him out as not being British enough, because he came from like his his family is like I can't remember what country it was, but he was born in Britain. Yeah. He lives in Britain. Like, just because, like, just because his parents or his grandparents came from another country does not make him any less British than anybody else, when he, especially because he was born in Britain. He even has the Dapa accent and enjoys afternoon tea. Like, (laughs) he is more British than me, and I have British family, and I can do the accent and all that, but... He is more British than I am because I was born in Canada. I'm proud I'm a Canadian, even though my family comes from Britain and Italy and France and all that jazz. Yeah, my my family comes from, well, America, English, or English, England, and I'm um, half Irish. Mm-hmm. But I'm totally Canadian. I'm Canadian. My family comes from uh, Germany and the Ukraine and 
What's the last one? Flemish. They're Flemish. So we're like, what's Flemish from? Poland. Oh, totally up on her heritage. Totally. Huh? Anyway. Did you say Poland? <laughs> <laughs> I may have said Poland. I'm not Polish. <laughs> what? And they're not Flemish. <laughs> anyway. Fle- Flemish. Flemish. Where, where does Flemish come oh! from? Oh, I know. The back of your throat. No. Flem- Flemish is, um... From Flemland. <laughs> Flemland. <laughs> Flemland. 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 Anyway. They make chocolate. Belgium? I think it's Belgium. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Belgium. But I think. why would Flem- Flemish be a thing? There, ha- there must have been a Flem somewhere. Granted, for well, one thing. Well, it's like people who speak Yiddish. Yeah, okay. Where's Yid? Yid? I think it's right next to... Uh, Oh damn it! I'm, I'm I'm farting on that now. No, never mind. I've I've totally. Uh, you got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. Anyway, but I mean, for as much I mean, there's a significant difference where in Canada, which is somewhere that's viewed as kind of like a melting pot. That doesn't mean we don't have. No, we're not. Sense. No, we're not. Melting really? pot's the states. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes, the melting pot is the states. Man, we're my school a, lied to me. We're a mosaic, because everybody's culture is able to stand true. Melting pot means all everybody's cultures all come together into one mass. Huh. You just get amalgamated into the place that you are. To fuck that. That, States, that the is, States is not a, a melting pot then either. And no, no, I, I, I don't care. America? Like the American, no. how they've taken people. It's compared to Canada, which is a mosaic. Think about how many sects there are of Chinese people... It, uh, Italian people, Polish people, who th- never lose their customs, they never lose their language, they never lose, etc., compared to the states. Yeah, okay, so they're a comparative melting pot. Sure. Yeah, okay. That's how they've always, that's how it's I'll always that. been stated. But even still, like, we self-segregate. Like, people self-segregate because we are, oh, yeah. we are attracted to... Uh, to and, people who are like us, exactly, and I don't mean that as like a, a racist thing. No, not a not a sexual attraction. I mean like oh. we 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 gather around, we we clamor towards those with similar interests. Because here's the thing: is if someone if someone that's just human nature. Yeah, if someone shares your culture and your traditions and etc., you're going to be gravitating towards those people because you don't have to explain those bits and pieces of yourself. They already know and understand. Yeah. However, that doesn't mean that you can't venture into... Like, look at Villages, which is happening next month, I believe. Oh, yeah. We uh, have that every single year, yeah, and so it is it, a chance to dabble in other people's cultures. Right. I've never actually gone, but... Oh, no? I have never been to Villages in my life. Gets a bit expensive, but it's fun. Yeah, I have a lot of people who go every single year. Yeah. And I, I, I've done it a few times. Like, I'd love to go to Villages, but as you said, it gets expensive and you don't yeah. always have money laying around. But what it Villages is, is that every... It's hard to go to all of them. You've really got to just pick and choose. Yeah, you got to choose the ones that you want to go to and usually end up going to the ones, like, the same ones. Yeah. Because that's the ones that you know. Polish Hall, because they got good fucking cabbage rolls. Uh, anyway. German Hall has schnitzel. Yep. Which is all right. I've, I've tried it. We are hitting about our normal wrap-up time. No, there's one more thing I want to admit I want to talk about. Is it my birthday? No, it's not your birthday. It's uh, not your birthday yet. But 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 four days from the podcast date, Happy which birthday. will be a Monday, and we'll actually be playing some Mario Maker. Happy all right, early we'll birthday. we'll address the elephant in the room. Happy birthday. Anyway, no, what I wanted to talk about was uh, Rio. Rio, the Olympics? Yes. And the problems that are going on there, because Rio declared a financial um, crisis. Oh, did they? Yes, um, they yeah, have. Yeah, the Olympics will do that. No, no, it's not just that, but they oh, are, they are paying all their police officers in installments oh, sure. and delaying their pay. Police officers are asking civilians to provide them with office supplies because they don't have fucking paper to print with incident reports. Um, yeah, because the people are going to help the police. Well, know. particularly patriotic citizens, may. Yeah, but okay, here's so, the other thing is so, uh, when the two of those run out of uh, paper. <laughs> but here's the other thing too. So they're asking for people for paper, pens, etc. Um, this is a, a 
city that has a, a lot of organized crime, mm-hmm. g- gang wars, etc. And people are actually at the airport greeting um, tourists into the city with a sign that says, Welcome to hell. Uh, you are not safe here. Damn. Um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, what was it? All the tickets have been sold now, but as of last month, they had only sold 75%. And by that time, all the tickets, long gone, usually. Mm-hmm. But they were only managed to sell 75% because there were so many issues with Rio, people didn't want to go. Yeah, I bet you if you look on StubHub right now, you can probably get some cheap-ass Olympic tickets. Yeah. Because, like, if you, yeah, because this but, is the Olympics that you then I would have to go to Rio. <laughs> Rio. Not Rio. Yeah, it, 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 it's Brazil, not Street Fighter. <laughs> Can't it Hadouken! be <laughs> And now we have the Hadouken challenge. Hadouken. And now we have the Hadouken challenge. Hadouken. Uh, um, but I wanted just to touch on that because, holy shit, this is, like, the first time in the history of the Olympics that people have been, like, this is the most nervous people have been. Also, Russia... I don't know about that. I mean, Hitler kind of hosted the Olympics one year. The, 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 that There was a boycott there, that year. Okay. At any rate, um, and the I'm Russia... I'm sure there was another boycott, actually, one year. I think it was in the 80s. Like, uh, don't quote me on that. But uh, Russia's not allowed to play. Not allowed? Oh, that's right. The the, the, uh, the doping scandal. The doping scandal. So Russia's not allowed to even participate now. Yeah. Um, and did you hear that there was a... Well, that's incentive to go No, no, right did now. you hear about the whole doping scandal and how there was a professional lab that had a literal hole cut in the wall so that... A, they could... a proverbial glory hole, I if you will. I saw that. I saw that <laughs> on, on John Oliver. Yeah, but they actually had a hole wow, cut we were, out of we, the wall. That's the third time we've referenced John Oliver on oh. the show. We're, we're, we're becoming social jackasses. Yeah. <laughs> Socially savage jackasses, if you will. <laughs> Except we ha- we don't have um, we don't we're not puffins with spider fingers. We could be. <laughs> I, I I don't get that one. There I said was, another John Oliver. Yes, he had an episode where he that's was, four. He had an episode where he was doing online bullying, and he went through a bunch of his YouTube comments. And there's one where he's like, he looks like a puffin. <laughs> and there was a person where he's like, I always think he has like spiders for fingers. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, apparently, I'm a puffin with spiders for fingers. I want I this as art, by the way. Huh? I, I, I want that as art to put on my wall. Just what? spider-fingered puffin John Oliver. <laughs> just, just the centerpiece of this wall behind us. Case, just be like, if that's the case, you have to send him a picture. Just people walk in, they're like, uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> just like it's John Oliver as a puffin with spider fingers. <laughs> really brings the room together. At any rate. So, we are still out of time. Yeah, that yeah. was just the last thing that I wanted to touch on really quickly before I forgot. Because there was something I wanted to bring up, but I mean, it's not. it wasn't uh, crucial to it being in this month. So we got to save it for next month. Okay. Because, yeah, a lot of crap happened in June. Or we could talk about it on um, on Smash or Okami. Oh, that's true, too. That, we can have conversations that are about interesting things on shows. Like I talked about the Breath of Wild release during a Mass Effect game. Oh well, yeah, I, I well, yeah, yeah, I'll bring it up during the show. Anyway, by the way, um, thank everyone for your support. We've had a lot more comments lately, and it's it's nice getting up in the mornings and just having those show up in our email. I know what we didn't talk about. What? Our fucking pool party. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. It was a lo- uh, thank you everyone who who came out. Yes, minus the sunburns. Everyone got a sunburn. Everyone actually, got a except sunburn except for Isaac. Ha! ha! Sunscreen, bitches. SPF sixty. I don't normally burn, so I wasn't expecting. <laughs> yeah, to. you you got one, and I got one. <laughs> like, and... I, I I usually have heritage in my corner. <laughs> and Isaac was over here like, <laughs> yeah, the, burn sucker. Yeah, the whitest kid didn't get a burn. Go figure. Burn the SPF sixty. My anyway. skin is peeling, burn, baby, burn. I think mine still is. Anyway, we'll see you all next month. And uh... remember, in August, we're having our Zootopia. Yes, that's right. Please come out to that because, I mean, it's more than just us. There's a movie. You'll be, you'll have fun. We'll remind again in July. Yes, we have to like constantly remind people. Yeah. Just so they can't forget. Yeah. Right? You're gonna sh- we're going to shove those reminders right down your throat.
<laughs> See you around. Just like something else. Pulling mm. out your ass. Like tinsel. You don't have tinsel. <laughs> <laughs>